on this page it says I can fully factor and then I can reduce algebraic fractions. So just like we uh, were practicing before we want to cancel out any factors that divide into a 1. However, we are not given those factors here, so we need to factor it first. So starting with this first example, what you want to do is look for what is in common uh, with everything across your top. And I know that 12 does not go into 54, so it is not 12, but 6 is going to go into 54. And that's going to leave me with 2n, and 54 divided by 6 is going to be 9, so 2n plus 9. Notice how when I do these problems, my favorite way to do these is to write uh, directly above the numerator and then cross out what I had before, and then the denominator to write directly below and cross out what I had before. So on the bottom in common, I have a 6 again, leaving me with 3n minus 2. Now I very cleanly can see that the 2n plus 9 and the 3n minus 2 are completely different. They will not cancel out to 1, but I do have a 6 and a 6. And since a number outside of parentheses like that is a group in and of itself, we can go ahead and have those cancel out to 1. So our final answer then, if we were to write the simplified fraction, it would be 2n plus 9 over 3n minus 2. The other thing we're asked to do is state the excluded values. Now the excluded values is something that comes from your factored form in your original equation. So this very first step we did here where we factored it fully um, but before we cross anything out is the part where we're going to look to uh, for finding the excluded values. And it, since n only appears here, we only need to look into this group. What could we plug in for n to make it equal 0? If we're not sure, we can just write it equal to 0, add 2 to both sides, 3n equals 2, and when we divide it out, we find that n is 2 thirds is the excluded value. So we would write that as n is not equal to 2 thirds. It is an excluded value, so it's not that. Moving down, we're going to do number 17. There's, this one's a little bit tricky. Uh, it also is a trinomial on top. Whenever we have three terms, a squared term, uh, m to the first or x to the first, and then just a constant number all together, uh, that's called a trinomial, three parts. We want to, if possible, try to get the squared term to have a 1 in front. And right now, we have a negative 1 in front of that. So what I'm going to do very first step is I'm going to factor out a negative 1, leaving me with m squared minus 6m plus 8. It switches the sign of everything when I pull out that negative 1. The reason I did that is now it's actually okay to take my factoring shortcuts. So I can find two numbers that multiply to 8 and add to negative 6. If I didn't do this factoring out of the negative 1, I would not be allowed to do that. So two numbers that multiply to 8. I can have 1 and 8, 2 and 4. 2 and 4 is going to add up to 6. I need it to be negative 6, so I switch both of those signs. And I'm going to have m minus 2, m minus 4 as the terms that I factor out. And then I have to keep my negative 1 along for the ride. So then I just keep working upwards. So I crossed out my original and factored it. I crossed out that with the newly factored version. On the bottom, I have a 4 in common with everything, leaving me with m minus 2. Let me just cross that out. Now, if I'm going to write my simplified expression, I'm going to look for things I can cross out or cancel from top to top to bottom, and I have a full m minus 2 group, a full m minus 2 group that can go away, leaving me with negative 1 m minus 4 over just a 4. 
And whenever we have uh, multiple factors left in the numerator uh, for a multiplication problem or a simplifying problem, I will be okay if you leave it like that. Another correct way to write this would be to distribute that negative 1, so you get negative m plus 4 over 4. Going back to our excluded values, we look at the original factor denominator. Even though the final one, there are no excluded values, in this original one here, we could plug in a 2 for m and cause that to go to 0. So our excluded value would be m not equal to 2. Good luck on these.